it just kind of hit me one day that here I am in Charleston and I've I've been on the water all these years and I've taken 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 and what have I given back and I haven't given back anything and if you just keep taking from something and never replenish there's never gonna be any left for anybody else or for yourself so when the time came that I, I learned about the score program and how the recycling actually worked um, it was something that I definitely wanted to involve myself in just because I understood the importance of it without people doing this, there won't be oysters. And it's not just about eating the oysters. You're not gonna have those shrimp, you're not gonna have those you know, crabs, you're not gonna have the redfish, all of the, the trout, all the sea life that people come down here to eat commercially or to eat you know, at restaurants and commercially catch are gonna be gone if we don't have them. So it's on us to put those back into the water. I was here last week, I did my part. Mm -hmm. I mean, I ate them. Right, and so when we're thinking about the cycle of, of oyster shells, in the past, people didn't really have a good idea of what oyster shells were worth. And so they were kind of a byproduct of what we were consuming them for. But now what we've realized is the best way to grow more oysters is with oyster shells. So we're gonna take them and put them back in the water, which kind of makes a whole cycle of this where we're harvesting them commercially, consuming them, you know, enjoying them, having some economic benefits from them. We're gonna take them, clean them up, put them back into the water, and then they're where they are keystone species, so they hold the marsh together, they filter the water, they provide habitat for animals, kind of the whole thing. And then we just go and harvest them again and, and kind of continue that cycle. So we talk about oyster shell recycling. Our business is probably more oyster shell replanting. That's the piece where we come in, collect them, and put them back out so we can kind of complete that cycle. Just by putting those back in, we're already cleaning it up, along with bringing in you know, all these other animals and, and, and things that are making it more of a thriving ecosystem. Our goal is to have the entire coastline of, of South Carolina being a complete and healthy ecosystem thriving, and it starts with the oysters. It starts with oysters.